Hello and welcome to Season 5 of the Trinity Takeover Show. Today we're going to meet Anna, doctor, frontliner during COVID, 51, comes from Liverpool, mother of a 13-year-old boy, happily married. She wears scrubs during the day and fleeces when she gets home in the evening. How many people can identify with just that ease of dressing, but that ever-diminishing sense of who you are by just having those two wardrobes in your life? You're sitting so comfortably squished in the back there. Sorry. Come on in, Anna. <laughs> what made you think, I want to apply? I think coming through COVID and working during COVID and my son reaching age where, you know, he's older now. I've probably always hidden away a little bit, being taller, a little bit bigger, you know, that I've sort of hidden my, myself. I just want to find myself again. There's something in Europe called the tall poppy syndrome, and it's not just about the height of somebody, but it's about that fear of standing out. Yeah. Sometimes clothes makers do more adventurous things. Yeah. First of all, I just want to say, I know it's not going to be difficult to dress you. The hardest challenge, I think, for us today is can you imagine wearing these types of clothes yeah. in the life you currently have? Like, would your partner and you go to Florence for the weekend and think, I've got all these amazing, fun things to wear. I'm going to be this new woman. I hope so. <laughs> you can always change the husband. <laughs> this is about really telling me what is inside your head and bring it to the fore, because unless we talk about that, we'll never get you to a place where you will challenge yourself to dress differently. All right, you have got five minutes okay. to whisk around the store so we can see how you think okay. when you shop. Okay. That's the challenge here. Okay. This is going to freak her out so much, but be so cool. That's a really beautiful colour for her. I wouldn't choose ever anything like that. This is something her son, her 13 year old son, is going to go find something different, find something a bit more modern. Just okay, fun. modern. Oh my God. She would look amazing in pink. Not that colour. That would be so cool, half tuck. I do like some sparkle. That is a killer dress. But green! I do like greens. It is a joyous jumper. It's about having fun! Never, never. I think I'm done um, because I need to see her body. You go in there, yeah. we don't want you to look in the mirror, and we're going to get started. So, wow. That's not anything that I would normally wear. So this is, in a way, taking every element of the femininity out of your shape. You were just doing this thing. What do I see? It over-exaggerates the length of your legs and it shortens your waist even more. Yeah. And I don't love it on you. No, so I, when I see it like that... That's fine. We're moving on. The first look I did, because she has ultimately a very feminine shape with this very short body and very long leg, and I just want to see how masculine I can take, Anna. So, this could be where you go when you're cool, going out with your son. So the first thing we've realised with you is we don't like tops to be short, yeah. because they just like make your legs too long. Yeah. Oh, never said that before on the show. I love the sequin because it flutters over your tummy. These things, a lot of people could do the kind of that look. And I think by double pulling over and making that thick, we've sort of sculpted and it's not thick and chunky around here. And you just feel that, I mean, they're all minor details, but tall women think, can I do a crop trouser? So they can, and it was a perfect ankle crop. But if you don't wear the right shoe with it, it can look bad. But I think it looks really good. Same with the jeans. Again, never would have gone for that. Because she has a sloping shoulder, and we always want to make her shoulders straight. And then it puts her body back in proportion. The mum side of me is saying, how do you wash it? Hand wash only, those sort of things that I practically would look at more than probably what it looks like on me, but I will take this with me. I've chosen the coat because I love print with print. Mm. And there's something mismatched, but in fact, this is actually a really good mix. I, li I like the purple. Yeah. And the trousers are really, really comfy trousers. Yeah. The beautiful colour of the purple is less of surrounding and framing your face. So I put that there, and the colour immediately frames your face. And I feel it's like sharp, modern, ageless woman. Love the colour. Never thought I'd try on so many coloured shirts, but I really love the colour of the purples and the blues and the greens. What works for you, what washes you out, what looks good, what's a good colour, it's, it's really fantastic. OK, so this is going to be about seeing yourself as a green person again, but differently. Very smart. The shoulder pad, I think, is so crucial. But do you feel tall in this? Yeah. Good tall, proud tall. Good, proud tall. Should we walk with a bit of proud tall? <laughs> Can I ask you what you think of what she's wearing? 
I think it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, and the you. colour is just you. Oh, thank you very much. This is a woman scared of her height. How comfortable is it to wear a bit of a heel? I think because it's a boot, it yeah. gives you more structure. Yeah. Anna, can we talk about walking? This is not hospital in scrubs rushing walk. This is I'm Anna, I'm tall and cool walk. Swing the hips a bit. You're, you're scuttling fast, and I want you to just to swing the hips. It's very different to anything green that I've got at the moment. I think it's a lovely outfit as well. Now just look in the mirror. What's that? Not old. <laughs> Not old. Can I just say, I didn't intend to have two devil's crowns. And that boot makes the dress cool. And I think that having just a dress which is round neck for you, because that booby V for you, I think is what makes you feel older. Yeah. Let's wander together. Remember how you're walking too. Excuse me, what's your, where's your dress from? It's really nice. It's from Zara. You see, how often, <laughs> when were you last asked that? No, no. <laughs> In your 50s, when you have boobs and long legs, Anna is like an hourglass that's grown into herself. Definitely not something I would choose with, with the pattern and the, the, the fabric myself. It's no longer about honouring her shape, it's about being a stylish woman. And I think there's days we want to wake up and we want to feel we're a stylish woman. I mean, of shop-ups, I thought that was really ticked boxes. What do I need to do to make you commit to wearing these things when you get back to Liverpool. I will wear them. You will? I will wear them. All right. And I feel you're going to do it too, but we need some jeopardy on the show, so will you do it? <laughs> Whenever you're dressing in the morning when you finish the show and you're just going for the default, you've got to kind of have like a post-it note on the fridge saying, are you in the best, most challenging outfit you could be in today? I had an eating disorder in my teens, mm -hmm. and I think they all struggled. Um, Why, because the attention was on you yeah. as a child? How old were you, like 14? Um, 17. 14? Oh, 17, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. To what extent do you have body dysmorphia now when you look in the mirror? I think when, because I was tall when I was young, I didn't want to stand out at school, you know, because you get yeah. called Ben Nevis or Jolly Green Giant, it was in, you know, when I was 12, yeah. and I just wanted to, you can't change your height, can you? But I just wanted to sort of be a bit more hidden. When did you feel that you were sort of in recovery from, from anorexia? How old were you? When I went to university at 21. Yeah. And then it was completely behind me. Yeah. And nobody knew. Yeah. So I think that's part of it is you can recover physically, mentally, but everybody around you is still sort of your friends or your social life. They're still very much aware of what where you've been or what yeah. you've had. Yeah. I went to university, didn't mention it, and it was like... You, know, you could reinvent yourself. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, and that sort of takes time, doesn't it? All my sisters were married and had children, you know, and we're in a different place now, I guess, to how we were then. But it took a while at the time to sort of just sort through. Now, we sent you a routine. Yeah. Have you tried it yet? I have. Yes. And how do you find it? Easy to do. Yeah. Definitely the skin is more moisture. <laughs> more moisture. You are an eloquent woman. <laughs> The skin has more hydration. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love that more moisture. We've done morning is the be your best balms, gentle, and then you've got a little PHA, you've got the little plump up, and then you've got the hydration, evening you've got the retinoid. Yep. So what I want to add into this equation is that self-care moment, because I think you rush and you do a lot of work in the hospital, you come back. So, so we're going to use a gua sha tool and you're going to go and lift up. Imagine you're just lifting up the cheekbone. So feel for that cheekbone and lift it up. Forehead. Just gentle up, just ease off the tension, the furrowed brow. You can go all the way down, you want to go down to your collarbone really and release all the limbs. Feel the coolness of the Gua Sha, isn't that lovely? It's rose quartz, very healing. You could even do this for two minutes when you get home from work. Yeah. Just to have that space between the manicness of your day and getting into relaxing in the evening. Yeah. Self-care and now makeup. So these are my three top tips for bigger, brighter eyes. My first kind of top tip for like when you're feeling tired, I mix two products together. I mix Just A Touch and then I've got BFFI Under Eye Serum. I just focus it in the inner corner of the eye. So you can see this side has no product. And then if I turn on it to the next side, you can see that it's much lighter and brighter. My second tip is two products eye to eye shades wisdom and one is faith so i'll use my finger to tap the product on and then i'll swap my finger then to blend the products then what i do is i get faith and again pushing the products outwards and then with your clean brush sharpen the edges 
you can see that it's blown out so it's a little bit lighter and it's also bigger and brighter. When you're doing lashes, I always like to use the bottom lash and bring the lash outwards and then the middle part of your lash upwards and then the inner corner of your lash, bring them in towards the nose. And that's lash spray in latte. Here with Josh and darling Anna. Anna, you were originally brown hair and now you're growing through gray. You want low maintenance. Yeah. I mean, look, look, I know you love this up. Yeah, because I, I just like yeah, how it lifts. Anna's going to have to have you at home there doing that every morning. I think there's an up that's halfway between what you're saying up and that. All right, fine. All right, great. I can't wait to see you later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Bye. Um, I still can't believe that this is actually happening to me. I have a lot of roles, you know, mum, wife, doctor, all these things, but I guess today this is about me and being me and doing something for me. She is such a beautiful person and when she was ill she really struggled to see that in herself and I want her to see that tonight and to carry on with that in her life because she is amazing. And I want you to come, uh, just come towards me. Yeah. And then I want you to stand just there. Rachel and Eve, open your eyes and look at your sister and heart. Oh. <laughs> oh, you look amazing. Look wow, look at your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely beautiful, Anna. You look so lovely. When did you last see Anna look like this? I don't think I've ever seen Anna look like this. She looks so beautiful and oh, you're just shining. I mean, quite literally shining, Anna, yeah. but you do look absolutely beautiful. It's so lovely. I don't think I've ever seen you wear as much makeup as this, not even on your wedding day. Um, <laughs> yeah. Look at the whole of you, because you know the confident woman you are in your scrubs. And it's how we're gonna bring that woman into every other part of your life. And really tell us exactly what you're feeling when Chloe releases that curtain now. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Who do you see in the mirror, Anna? Uh, not the person who arrived here this morning. We know that. You know, not having seen the makeup and, and all the work that John put in and the hair when they were styling that and colouring that as well, it's just... I mean, I don't know what you think your cousin and your brother-in-law are going to think. Oh, they're going to love it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now, I kind of feel we should FaceTime them now. Sure, you ready to see your mum? Yeah. Yep. Okay, there. Oh, wow. Amazing. Wow. wow. Incredible. That is a good. That is very nice. <laughs> Have you seen the shoes? Have you seen the shoes? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> you are a confident mum today with a wonderful job, but you deserve to sparkle that much more. So please, every day, you're going to, what's that little sign you're going to put on the fridge? About challenging myself. But, but, you know, what can I do beyond? You're going to promise me you'll do that? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, have we achieved our goal for this show? To make Anna feel more present and less invisible. I think in the clothes we have, and I think in the chats we have, what I want to see is that Anna, in the future, intellectually knows so much but I want her to feel it in her heart because when she looks on the fridge door and she says are you challenging yourself enough today she will think with this and less with this and then decide what to do. They were, she was interrogating us as well Anna we had to say all these nice things about you. <laughs> Not me. Hard. Hard. <laughs>